Hi, this is Doug with IdahoMMA.com. I'm here with uh, Greg Franson with NextGen. Greg, thanks for your time. I appreciate it. I appreciate yours. Hey, uh, let's, you know, the, since the last time we talked, uh, what's been going on? Uh, you've got a fight coming up like in a couple days. Today is Tuesday. you got a fight Wednesday. What, what's going on right now in, in your training? Uh, going a lot over, uh, over a lot of technique and whatnot. Uh, I'm trying to keep my body at 100%. Uh, got my last really hard training in yesterday. And the rest of the week, just going to go over technique, get a game plan, and uh, find out the way we're going to handle business. Uh, and just keep up a lot of the technique. That way I can be 100% ready to go for Friday. Right on. So now, um, XFS 61. Um, you have any ideas on what it's going to be like? Because this would be your first time fighting at the XFS. Century Link Arena. Uh, do you have, anticipate any feeling how it's going to feel to you? It's going to be exciting. A memory of a lifetime being in front of that many people. Uh, having it seen, I, I believe it's televised, so there's just there's a lot of aspects that it'll be a, a memory of a lifetime, uh, no matter what. So it's going to be exciting. It'll be a, it'll be a rush being in front of all that many people. It'll be great. Yeah. Now, after the XFS, what's your plans? Uh, for kickboxing, the sport. I already have a fight locked in for March 2nd in Tacoma, Washington um, on the Absolute Chaos card. Um, gonna try to keep, uh, just keep building that record. And then uh, we got a K1, uh, nothing's for sure, but hopefully it'll go through in April. Um, just try to keep racking up some Muay Thai fights and uh, maybe uh, depending on how well I do, if I keep getting victories, I'd like to go for a title, but it all depends on uh, how well I do and how often fights come along, but it's like to keep training hard and uh, be ready for any fight at any time. Short notice, long notice, just be ready for it. Nice. So, how old are you? Great. 21. 21. And, you know, I know we, we, we talked about this the last time we talked, but as far as the sport goes, you know, kickboxing or mixed martial arts, but your specialty right now is kickboxing. Where, where do you want to take that? Do you want to take it to a pro level? Or do you want to just sort of take it as far as you can here locally and regionally? Um, I'd like to see how it goes. Uh, you know, pro, pro would be fun. Uh, it just however much time it takes to commit. I don't know how many fights it takes to become pro. Um, that would be, that'd be a great deal. But as of right now, I'm still, you know, working on, a, working on my full-time job and a career as an electrician. So you know, I kind of got to put my priorities. If the opportunity comes, I, I'll have to look at it then. But... It would be a blast. I just I can't predict on if I'll be able to or not. Just yeah. Because those those people are able to devote so much time to the sport and make that their life, their career. And you know, have to when I come to that crossroads, I don't know if I'll be able to just decide that or not. But it it would be neat. I yeah. just don't know. Can't predict that yet. Well, it sounds like you got your head on straight. Um, I can't wait. Uh, in a couple days, you know, got the weigh-ins coming up on Thursday, and then we got the fight on Friday. I can't wait to see you compete in there. Um, and again, you know, I, I, I like to say, you know, I wish you the best of luck and, and appreciate your time. Is there anything you want to say out there to your fans? Todd, uh, hope you guys get to make it and see a heck of a show. Right on. Well, again, Greg, thank you very much, uh, and we'll see you at the weigh-ins. Yes, sir. Thank you.